We'll just go for it. So Sneds gave me Basement Revolver, or Circles by Basement Revolver, Revolver last time. It was released on the 21st of January at the start of this year. It was released on Sonic Unvon Records, or Unvon Records, I'm not 100% sure how you pronounce that. It's approximately 3 minutes and 49 minutes long, so just under the 4 minute mark. Uh, the band have released it as part of a four track EP by the same name which then went on to form part of the band's sophomore album which is entitled Embody which released in February of this year as Sneds quite rightly said the band themselves are a four piece band from Hamilton Ontario in Canada the song itself kind of opens with this kind of like soft female vocals with lyrics that seem to explore themes of kind of mental health or struggling to come to terms with mental health this is accompanied with some kind of floaty almost hypnagogic soundscapes uh, which are quite interesting to, to kind of listen to and you know give off this kind of dreamy kind of atmosphere there's a slight tonal change maybe about the kind of 47 second mark with introduction of a kind of driving drum beat and it's that i don't want to say the song the song doesn't really change all that much there is some stuff going on behind the scenes but i think for me being in the type of like the type of uh, job that i'm in uh, being in the healthcare secretary i thought healthcare secretary healthcare industry <laughs> sorry i thought it did that i thought the lyrical content did a really good job of capturing what it's like for someone who struggles with anxiety and self-doubt with you know lyrics such as you know something said in the passing another panic attack that leads on to another panic attack or you know the lead vocalist experience another panic attack the vocal refrain at the kind of two minutes and 30 second mark of do you feel guilty do you feel guilty that kind of repetition which i kind of felt hit so hard and found really effective um that was a kind of standout moment uh, for me in the song so yeah I, th- I thought it was pretty good man to be honest yeah like that line you're talking about there, I hope you feel guilty. It's like um, it's like the prota- protagonist of the song has been um, subject to some kind of traumatic experience. And that's what's my thinking. Yeah, there's this um, the line that goes, "I've always wondered, do you feel guilty for the way that you forced it? Did it feel good taking advantage? I fucking hope you feel guilty." So it's I think there's some heavy stuff in there. Like I think from what I read on their band camp page, as the band went through a bit of a hiatus. Or did they go through a bit of a hiatus or there was a kind of period where they were just kind of resolving some of the issues that you know, the individual members were having at the time. So I imagine this song, probably even lots of the songs on you know, that their sophomore album, Embody are probably kind of quite autobi- autobiographical. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. I mean, like you said, it, it opens with these kind of tender sort of breathy female vocals as a sort of subtle bass rumble where kind of these quite far away sounding guitars and um mm. and the verse kind of kicks in with with some crashing drums the bass booms a bit more it's like reverberating guitars still stays pretty laid back and low tempo but i think the kind of melodies of the vocals are the thing that kind of keeps it engaging yeah. over the over the length of the, the sort of four minutes of the track and uh you know it's slow it's ponderous there's a bit of a kick from the drums and a bit of a drive from 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 the percussion there, but I mean it's also really catchy, like the the repeated line running in circles in the dark is is something that's been stuck in my head for 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 quite a while now. I just keep it just keeps popping into my head. It's and it's a really cool line. And yeah, there's like you said, there's there's the elements of mental health and depression and anxiety. There's another line that I've written down here, which is uh, try to take each day that comes one step at a time, decluttering my mind. I'm always fighting with my own head, which that was quite sort of poignant. So yeah, I uh, yeah really like this. What did you rate it? I've given it a strong eight. Yeah, I've I've just said an easy eight out of ten. So it just kind of it walks into an eight, like so. Uh, yeah. Really, really, really good song. And I, I still haven't gone in on the album properly. I keep meaning to, but um, I think, I think, like you say, there'll be there'll be quite a similar vibe throughout the album to to this, like both like thematically and in in the way it sounds as well. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, I think I think I've kind of dipped in and out of the album, but not really kind of taking the time to to properly listen to it as a. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay, that was um. Oh, sorry. 
No, I'm interested in see what you'll make of the Princess Chelsea oh. song. <laughs> totally. <laughs> um, well, so yeah, so that was um, Circles by Basement Revolver. You got to take my meds again. Yeah. <laughs>